Hi guys, Loki here from Let's Go Fishing. On our channel, we often get asked questions about small things in bank angling that can make a big difference. Now, um, things like how do you tie a leader line? What is a leader? Why do you use a leader? Stuff like that, just to mention one topic. And we've decided to make these short little videos and show you how to tie a leader and just talk to you about leader line. So, um, what is a leader? Let's start at that. We in bank angling and, and in South Africa, it's a thing that we, we like to fish long distance and we like to cast. So we use thin line to gain distance, but you can't just use thin line, thread it through the eyes, tie on a, a, a trace and cast it because you're going to snap off. So that's why we use a leader. So what is a leader? A leader is a thicker piece of line that you tie to the front of your, of your thin line with a specific knot called a leader knot and that takes the punishment of the cast and enables you to cast further so that's a, that's the main purpose of a leader to take the punishment of the cast so there's different types of leaders that that you can use i use a variety of leaders um, you can use either monofilament for bank angling or fluorocarbon um, fluorocarbon becomes invisible um, underwater so a that appeals to a lot of anglers for me i don't like to use fluorocarbon in bank angling i think it's overkill i use normal monofilament lines and um, there's also a big discussion on does color make a difference to me i've never had a fish complain about the, the color of my leader so i used to i like to use a bright colored leader so either or a yellow one um, or a red one it just enhances my fishing so whenever i can see my leader line and i'm close to somebody else's line or my own other line and i see the movement on the policeman or on the line i know what to do to adjust and the bright colored leader enables me to to do just that so our waters in south africa is not clean at all so if there's one millimeter of salt or mud on the ground your leader always lies on the ground um, that leader basically disappears so the guys out there saying yeah a, a yellow leader will chase away your fish no it doesn't um, i've won multiple national tournaments international tournaments using bright colored leaders um, when south africa started fishing in in the in the world um, carp fishing championships we used yellow leaders and everybody looked at us as are oh, these guys mad um, no, we're not mad. We just like to see what we do and it enhances your fishing. It makes it easier and that's what it's about at the end of the day. So even in international tournaments, we used bright colored leaders and it didn't scare off the fish. So don't be afraid to use it. You're going to be so hooked on it once you start using it that you, you, you'll you see what you missed out. Let me show you how to tie that leader line. In my hand, this yellow line is my main fishing line. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take this line and basically just double it up like that. Let it make a loop and that's the starting point of our leader knot. I'm going to take my fingers and just put it through the loop, double it over, make a butterfly knot and keep it like that. My leader line is next. All right, so the thickness of my leaders for bank angling is normally 0 0.36, 0 0.37 and it normally boils down to around about 18 to 20 pounds i'm now going to take the leader line and push it through the loop then i'm going to release on this side and just pull until it tightens on the thicker line what i'm going to do now is take my index finger and push it in between the the double line and the single line i'm now going to take the double line and fold it once twice three times around the double line and push it back to where I began through the loop. The main thing is here, I'm pulling both ways now. When you want to tighten it, give it some moisture, let the tag end go and pull on simultaneously on the double line and the thick line. You will now see that this tag end leans towards the, the the thick line that it's a it's a it's tight enough but i just like to to strengthen the knot so i'm going to grab that with my teeth and just pull it until it's straight up 
not too hard just pull it straight up and what you can do now is just snip off the tag ends preferably with a nail nipper like that and like that that's a perfect little knot now if you're not fishing with a leader try this now follow it step for step and you will definitely improve your fishing the length of your leader like I said earlier is basically twice the the length of, of your fishing rod so I'm going to wind it wind it onto the um, onto the reel like that once twice and bring it to the back of my of my rod now I'm just going to tie on my my snap swivel all right I push it through the the eye of the snap swivel so I'm going to wrap once twice three times four times five times around itself and just push it through the opening on the swivel and pull it lightly then moisten it and now just pull on your main line again you will see that this tag end is leaning towards the swivel just grab it and pull it up straight basically the knot was sitting like that and when I pulled it straight the knot just did this I just clinched the knot this is also called a clinch knot so if you don't know how to make it just check on our on our youtube channel we do show you how to make proper knots on one of the videos and all that's going to happen now is i'm going to use my nail clipper just clip that off and that's the completed leader for you hook your trace onto your snap swivel and cast a mile